Hello everybody, it is I, Ludu, Ludicolo, welcome back to the Twitch stream. Uh, before I begin anything else, uh, how do I sound? Because after last stream, uh, a few days later, I think I got a Windows uh, OBS update. So things are a bit different, it seems, not really, but like, every time I mute now, I have a gray bar instead of like a colorful uh, audio bar, I guess. I don't think I've noticed. But I don't know if like my audio settings got mixed up or anything like that. There's no update happen, but yeah, uh, it seems fine. Well, thank you, Duncan. Also, welcome in Eli Duncan. Yes, Eli, I am now a mod for John. It's insane, but here we are now. Anyways, uh, so last stream, we did Great Ball and Ultra Ball for Poke Cup, and it was a roller coaster of a ride. Listen, Eli, I don't know if I need to make this clear. Um, not on when I was not or anything, not to you or anything. It's just like, I'm gonna make this clear as possible. There isn't any issues with the audio itself. The issue is, I feel like my issue is just the PC itself because I just can't have my microphone and digital audio interface at the same time because the Elgato cap card is sound is technically digital audio interface. And I can, I can, I can enable that, but then I can't have a microphone. Uh, for my, a, a USB microphone to be exact. I can still use my PC mic like, realistically, I could just do that, if you guys want to hear the game audio. But I don't know if you guys would want to hear my terrible mic, PC mic. <laughs> Capture cardio separate input device. I don't know how to, like, do anything like that, because, like, I try to plug them both in, it's just... They just won't get in at all. They're, it's a digital audio interface, like... If you could show me, like, like at least, like show me like what i need to do then i'd be appreciate appreciate because like the issue is they're both audio inputs and before i was able to get them both in but now i just can't do that anymore and i don't know why maybe it has to do with my usb my four ports because every time i've been using that like i've been having this issue i didn't have that issue with lost levels i could just plug in my microphone and my cap card and i had no issue Maybe to maybe Windows update got rid of that or something. I don't know. All we can do is just keep playing the game like this. Like, yeah, Duncan just wants that Walmart announcer stream. Listen, Duncan, I'd only do it for like a reward point if I wanted to. Separate auto device and set the advice to Elgato. I'm gonna be honest, like, I have no idea what to do about that. Like, I, it sounds like you got an idea, and I would like for you to, like, elaborate further on later on, like, after stream, I guess. I know I keep saying that a lot, but, like, it's the best way to, like, settle things down post-stream, because when it's stream time, I'm supposed to be playing games, you know? But for, like, when I want to solve issues, it's just, like, I can't really do it on stream, you know? Or I don't really want to, because I just want to play games, you know? And also, I got a big day coming out, a big day, like... A big uh, next three days. Today I have to do more um, some homework of discussions and quizzes. Saturday I don't have anything to do, but Sunday I've got a lot, a lot to do. More than any other Sunday homework I've ever had in my life, it seems. I got like an art project, an 800 word discussion. Uh, I actually will. Like I'm willing to stream just so I can like have time to game and then afterwards, starting immediately with homework. I don't have anything to do tomorrow. But yeah, I will need a head start, though, today and tomorrow for the Sunday homework. I, my Sunday, I got an art assignment to do. I got... What else have to do? 800-word uh, uh, assignment for my theater class. Some discussions, I think. A uh, bio homework that to turn at some point. I'll probably do it on tomorrow instead. And then last, uh, a history exam out of nowhere. It's okay, Eli. You have fun with that. You do whatever you want. Also, welcome in, Goblin and Strand. How are you both doing? Sorry I didn't notice that sooner. Okay, let's get started with the gaming now. That being said, today we're going to try to be Master Ball. Like, Master Ball difficulty. That's the plan. Everything is still good, so let's get started. The plan is to beat Master Ball difficulty. It's the last normal tournament we have left. And after we beat this, I think I'm going to keep playing Stadium, like, the whole way through. Oh, you lost pounds? Nice. That's good to hear, man. As you can see, we have beaten Pika Cup, like, 
two weeks ago, Petit Cup last week on Wednesday, all of Prime Cup in uh, a few days ago, and then the first few difficulties of Pokeball. Welcome in, uh, Ole. How are you doing? You have a question? Uh, do ask. Uh, I feel that, Duncan. It's, like, kind of rough. Think of it as a rat check. 56%. You'll get, you'll get a higher percent one day, Eli. A black two Nuzlocke. Oh, wow, good luck, Eli. Uh, good luck. Uh, good luck with that goblin. Is $90 for a Pokemon Stadium OVP a good price? What is OVP, actually? I actually don't know what that is. If anybody would care to explain what that is, I appreciate it. But $90 is a lot, and that scares me. Okay. Like I said, today, we're doing Prime Cup Master Ball, and this is the team we're going to go with, and I did not take out my notes for how to beat this easily. But this is the team we got, that I made a few days ago. Let me just find the spreadsheet to guide me through this, because I don't know squat about Pokeball, dif or Poke Cup Master Ball difficulty. But the plan is to get this down. This is still not going to be an easy tournament, that being said. I may have gone through Prime Urgil Packaging. Oh, okay. Uh, $90 for Stadium 1? Hmm. It's a pretty expensive price, but I don't know. Like, I feel like it depends on who's selling it to you, but like, $90 is pretty reasonable. No, like, the older the game, I feel like the more expensive it, expensive it is. Especially if it's like something as popular as Pokemon. But if you think it'll, it'll help you out, then if you think you'll want it, then yeah. I don't know what the other average prices are. But I feel like $90 maybe might seem uh, smaller than usual. Okay, so let me just look at the teams before going further. Okay, Master Ball difficulty. Okay, we're ready. We just need to make sure we got the right team. Starmie, Jolteon, Articuno. Yep. Zapdos. Rhyhorn and Graveler. Okay. Let's get started, chat. It's time for Master Ball difficulty. The last tournament we gotta beat before I'm gonna move on to Gym Leader Castle. And if you th think this tournament's gonna be easy, of course it won't. This is round two, after all. But also, like, this cup as a whole is gonna be very hard to get through. Oh, you're gonna play it? Nice. Stadium is a very fun game. And three men on showdown. Wait, for real? Wait, what? I'm looking that up. I'm looking that up right now. I, I know I'm supposed to be play game playing games, but I'm looking that up. As far as I know, the only OU fire type in Gen 3 is uh, Moltres. Uh, Charizard Smogon. I'm looking that up. Uh, oh my goodness, it is OU. So for the first time ever, Charizard is actually an OU. Interesting. Well, like, I know it has a niche in, uh, Sword and Shield OU, but, like, for the first time, it's OU. Is it just Charizard at the moment? Because I don't recognize the rest of these Pokemon in, you know, OU. Or, like, the other half are, like, in UUBL or something. I know for a fact. That's interesting. This goes to show how powerful Belly Drum is, I guess. Yeah, I only see Zard at the moment. The rest of them are UUBL, for the like, majority of them. But there's some Pokemon UUBL that just straight up are not good, like Crobat. But that's interesting. That's good to know. Thank you for letting me know, Goblin. That's pretty interesting. Okay, let's find the right team. Juggler here. He's got a metronome team. So, wait, Kadabra? For real? Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's just how viable they are. The reason why Kadabra is UUBL, I think, is because in Gen 3 UU, because they were terrified, like, how Gen uh, UU become a lower-tiered OU, I guess, they ca they don't allow any uh, unevolved Pokemon or NFE Pokemon allowed in UU, except for Scyther. Scyther is allowed. I don't remember why, but I assume because of the same base that Total Scizor. And that's fair. Yeah. And Kadabra, I guess, is just used a lot to where it got UUBL'd. Thus, it was already banned from UU. But, like, it's not good at OU at all. Like, why use it at all? Okay. This guy, like I said, has got a metronome team. You just pray he doesn't get good metronome moves. That's the best way to put it. But Articuno, Starmie, and Jolteon. 
Oh, wait. No, Jolteon. Graveler. Whatever. We're going to win this one, chat. Watch this. First battle. We're going to win this one easy. So what you do, actually, is set up Substitute for, uh... What if he gets Boom? Well, that'd be, uh... I'd be laughing if so. How have we been doing today, by the way? It is currently a... Uh, Friday here. 10 a.m., my time. And yeah, you have counter. That's why you went second. Yeah, th these Pokemon are different colored, um, are different color based on nicknames. It's like that as well in Stadium, too. <laughs> Articuno, don't be doing this in the first battle. Do it when it actually matters. What are you doing? This is only the first trainer. He's got metronome only. Whatever. Why does every ice type I use have this? Like, or does this all the time. Every ice type in the first battle, they just always get a freeze when it doesn't matter. I also think of the lurk, Eli. Like, it just annoys me because, like, that's the look I want to be getting in later battles, not here. <laughs> all right, bye, Magmar. I still have my substitute on, so I could just ice beam the next Pokemon. And a reminder that in Gen 1, fire types are not resistant to ice. Now, if you get it twice, though, we gotta have a serious talk about this, Articuno. Come on, just take it slow and steady. The 70 damage, the 3 KO easy. And wrap, that will not do much to a substitute, will it? Oh, it missed anyway. I don't know, wait, does that affect the substitute? Like, oh. Wait, is that a speed tie? Is that really a speed tie? That wrap is not a negative priority move. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why, Articuno? Why can you not do this in any other important battle? We're really gonna start off stream like this, huh? That's a speed tie and you get two freezes. Why, Articuno? Do this when it matters. Unbelievable. Razor win. Yeah, uh, rental Pokemon are of terrible stats, which is why this game is really hard. Because if you're using rentals, like, you just gotta pray you get good RNG, I guess. Also, Alakazam. Scary Pokemon and all, but not really. I probably should sky attack now I think about it. That will not affect my substitute. Nice try. Yeah, this guy's the metronome guy. He just has metronome on all of his Pokemon, and that's it. No way you're gonna get a third time now, are you? No way you'd get a, a third time. No way. Like, no way you would get it three times in a row, right? Glare. Once again, that does not affect the substitute. This is why he's already Kudo. This is why the last Pokemon didn't really matter. Okay. At least you're not getting a freeze. Just KO it, and we're good. I also forgot Glare's in this generation, and isn't it like 90 accuracy still? It only got 100% accuracy in Gen uh, 2. Yeah, he, I even, even I didn't know, but I kind of realized it when I saw a Gambler have it, an, Ar an Arbok. Gambler in Prime Cup uses a paralysis strategy so that it could just use when it KO moves on you. Thunder Punch. What is this? What is this? Gen 2 Alakazam? Also, you finally broke my substitute, but you just lost to Ice Beam Spam. So, yeah. <laughs> Critical hit. Getting all the pointless stuff out of the way. How are Do you want to be like that already? Alright, fine. See if I care. Just be good in the next seven battles we gotta be. Reminder, by the way, for those who don't know how Stadium works. In these games, in tournament modes, if you three if you defeat a trainer without losing a Pokemon, then uh, you get to continue. If you lose to a trainer, you have to use a quick continue. If you lose to any trainer without when you have zero continues, you have to go to the beginning. So yeah, isn't that fun? Also, welcome to the fan. How you doing? All right, biker, t a biker for the last time. Hopefully, this is Starmie Jolty on Articuno. See, this is the team we're supposed to use. This. Right? Starmie, Jolty, and Articuno. Yeah. K 
Kangaskhan. Fun fact, Kangaskhan is like 40 special in Gen 1. So like, it just gets to a KO by like every special moves. Oh, I oh I finally figured out this guy's gimmick. This guy is just toxic. That's it. Like he literally is the face of Twitter, I guess. I just called Twitter out. Deserved. These mods, they got like they got pretty bad move sets for the most part. But also it's just they're bad in general. Like they got worse stats. Also looks like I'm not gonna continue here unless I crit surf here. Surf does more than Thunder, I'm pretty sure. 95 times 1.5 stab versus under 20. That definitely is more. Get a crit, Starmie. That'd be cool. Nope. 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 Toxic, please. Nope. You're just gonna KO Starmie. Or oh, is this a roll? Nope. Eh, yeah, true. Gen 1 in general is just... Ugh. I probably should go to Articuno. No, 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 no. Jolteon's correct. No, Jolteon's correct. Thunderbolt always kills. Plus, I'm faster. Oh, thank you for the critical hit. And that's two useless crits today. All right, can we make it three now, Jolteon? Pin missiles actually used sometimes. And Gen 1, poison types are weak to bug, so it's quite effective not just on Exeggutor, but also on stuff like Venusaur, Vile Plume. And there's a, for a trainer in here who has Grass Electro type, so Jolteon isn't the worst. Uh, this is weird. Does this guy have Earthquake? Does this have Earthquake? Don't I just go Articuno for this? Yeah? Don't I just go Articuno because this has Earthquake? Like, I'm very sure this has Earthquake. Yeah, that's it. So it doesn't work on Ghost types? I guess. I actually didn't know that either. It's Ground type in later gens. Wait, so do I just stay in? I'm worried because this might have Earthquake. Oh, well, I'm just going Articuno then. Yeah, I'm going Articuno. And let's hope the last Pokemon isn't Nidoking. Oh, wait. It's a status move, yeah. Never mind. I guess Thunder Wave on Ground is the only thing it can't do. Why did you go Body Slam? I hate you so much. That doesn't count, okay. We don't Sky Attack, actually. We use Ice Beam. Look, see, Articuno, this is a good freeze. Well, a good crit, too. Oh, wait. You got Rock Slide? Well, uh, we're just gonna dodge Rock Slide or not get. Not even gonna use Rock Slide. Oh, no, no, no. So you just got paralyzed. I don't think we're gonna win this one already, actually. It's only the second battle, and I'm already gonna lose. Oh, Fire Blast. Hey, it'll be cool if you missed Fire Blast. Look, see? See, easy. And we didn't get paralyzed. Easy. We just always dodge fire blast. You guys know that? <laughs> Critical hit. You got two crits in a row. At least one of them was necessary. That's the thing. I can't have normal types because like a lot of them aren't very good. Oh, it's Flareon though. This is awkward. This is very awkward. Yeah, this has flamethrower. We have to stay in and sack it. A critical hit, that did not matter. I am very sure of that. Double edge? Oh yeah, it's a, that's a good meta. A little cut meta, even. I don't mean like... I don't mean like... I mean rentals, not in general. Like, the rental Pokemon normal types... I don't think are that good in this cup anyway. I did use Chansey against Mew in the Prime Cup. That was only for Seismic Toss. Speaking of which, uh, yeah. But yeah, overall though, Gen 1 normal types are actually pretty good though. The Snorlax, like, I don't like Mega Kick, honestly. Also, can we beat this 1v1? 
Oh, let's see it. Come on, Jolteon. <laughs> nope, we do not. And I don't think a crit will kill either. I think we just straight up lose. <sighs> That's a range. That is a range. I'm going to risk it, dude. I'm just going to Thunderbolt. All I can do, really. Nope. Nothing. All right. Low roll. Come on. Nope. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm dead of that. I'm dead of that. I'm dead of that. That's a Flareon. Ugh, I hate this game, dude. I'm all, I already lost a second battle. I feel like I got a pretty unfortunate team. And the fact that the idiot went for Body Slam and not Ice Beam. Or, no, no, no. I, I went for Ice Beam. I meant, I meant on the switch in on Earthquake. You know what I'm talking about. Words are hard, chat. We gotta continue so we can battle him again. But if we lose, we have to go back to the beginning. It's just trial and error, pretty much. I'd probably buff Electrode. Simple as that. Like, in Gen 1, specifically, Electrode. Give it more special attack. It's really that simple. Or more attack for explosion, I guess. Starmie, Jolteon, or Dekuno still. My goodness, this is already annoying. Like, only the second battle, I'm already struggling this bad. Oh yeah, that's a good one, too. Kangaskhan again. Bro, give me a crit, please. All I ask. Just one crit, Starmie. Nope, not good enough. Yeah, it has a high crit rate. I actually don't hate Electrode. Like, it's the kind of Pokemon that, like, I kind of had a soft spot for because, like, it's just like that it's fast. But, like, just give him more power. There has to be a range. Uh, I'm so acting so much Copium right now, actually. No, Critical Hit. No, you get it, not me. You. Thank you so much, game. So, so much. Is it the worst Electrotype in Gen 1? Uh, that's a tough one. Probably, I don't know if it, I don't know if it is. Raichu gets Surf, Electabuzz gets Psychic, Electro just says boom, and that's, and outspeeds everything, even Mewtwo. That's it. It's sad. Alright, please, just have a different team. Give me Poliwrath! Don't you have one of those? Jolteon's Zapdos are good. Easily. Yeah, Jolteon just has the special. That's why. And it can also dent... Uh, uh, it can also just leave it down on Exeggutor or Pin Missile, but... Electro just has, just has boom. And there's better explosion users like Cough Cough Exeggutor. Or Cloyster. This is so awkward. What do we do against Flareon? I guess I just have to get a crit or something. And the fact that you keep choosing it just annoys me. And you're supposed to be the Toxic Trainer, right? Why aren't you using Toxic? You ever thought about using that? That'd be cool. No, you're just gonna keep spamming Flamethrower. No, and then you get a critical hit. Of course that was a two-hit KO, and you got the highest rolls possible, and then you get a crit. Thus, that mattered. I am not going to lose. Oh, actually, a quick attack. Never mind. I was going to lose that battle anyway, unless I got a critical hit or paralysis. But no, so I just get the worst of all possible worlds. Yeah, I'm just going to lose this one. Like, what was I supposed to do? Just not get that team again. The fact that he chose that team twice... Wait, he sent off Flareon X. That means that he must have, what's it called? Uh, Polyrass in the back. And then you're faster. And critical hit! I hate this game so much. Bro. <sighs> I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just got straight up unlucky. Two crits in a row. Like, reminder that Flareon is base 65 speed. It's not fast. 
And in fact, that's faster than Articuno, who's base 85. I know it's like a toolable difference, but like, that's got to be a speed tie at least. And I just happened to lose that speed tie that mattered. What an unlucky turn of events. And look, see, like, Articuno getting those freezes didn't matter if I wasn't going to win the next fight anyway. Like, that's why I hate Articuno freezing this trainer, because he's using his luck on for nothing. My team is very troll. I have a Graveler and a Rhyhorn. I don't know anything about troll on that one. Oh. It's, um, Graveler does not have Rock Slide. And Rock Slide is pretty necessary, especially for the uh, seventh battle. Who has a Scyther, I think. I know Scyther isn't very scary, but Rhyhorn can wall it. Graveler, uh, doesn't. Also, I supposed to use Substitute there. Why did I not do that? Beam. Funny. Yeah, he's a substitute. Just unbelievable. I'm starting to wonder if Poke Cup really is easier than Prime Cup. I don't know what you guys have to say about that, but like, Prime Cup, I just hate using Thunder. This one, I just have a Thunderbolt Zapdos and Jolteon, and it's just like way better overall also electabuzz it's weird but i can stay in it's just an electabuzz and it's got only metronome yeah that's all you guys want to say of course why am i faster than it oh wait it's using counter that's why duh it's using counter I think I already said this, but Gen 1, uh, counter is only normal in fighting moves. See, see, Goblin? There's your Razor win. I didn't use it. My opponent did. That was Razor win, by the way. I think I already said that. Also, critical hit. See, like, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Like, Articuno, get this look when it actually matters. Of course, you guys are just going to say skill issue. Pin missile. It's going to do nothing. In fact, it would be funny if you missed. Nope. I don't know, man. I don't know. Articuno has just been that special, I guess. Uh, that just felt like a pun, if anything, because special in Gen 1. Okay. Transfer Mewtwo? Yeah, true, true, true. Except uh, one issue, Goblin. Uh, Mewtwo's not allowed in this tournament. I'm pretty sure it's not allowed. Mewtwo's allowed in Prime Cup, though. But Mewtwo's not allowed here. And even then, Mewtwo, like, Mewtwo's level 70 when you catch it, and that's above the levels here. Did I ever explain the rules about Poke Cup, by the way? Dragon Rage. That's actually annoying because it's exactly enough to break my substitute. My substitute is 40 HP, to be more clear. Yeah. But, but, uh, but, uh, substitute is... Huh? Sub has one more HP than it costs... Oh, so it's a 41? I'm just gonna use Substitute. Hyper Fang! <laughs> Critical hit! Oh my god, oh wait, I can't Substitute now! I can't use Substitute, you know what? It's not because it's too scary for my Articuno, I have to switch out. I have to switch out. It's, it's too scary. Bro, am I, I need this continue. I need this continue so badly. I need to switch out because I need this continue. It's like the easiest one I can get. Oh no, bubble! Oh no, six damage! Okay, we should get a win here, unless... Oh, okay. That, that just makes it easier on me then. 
I was gonna say, if it gets like thunder, crit paralysis, and then I just get paralyzed. Oh no, I get a crit. Starmie, thank you so much for getting critical hits when it doesn't matter. Like, it's only the first battle. Just wait until the big battles. And trust me, these battles get a lot harder. Like, significantly harder. Especially the fifth battle. The fifth battle is gonna be probably that and the ace battle are just the worst in this cup. Are they the hardest battles overall? Probably definitely not. Fisher is there for a reason. And then the final battle in Prime Cup is just as hard because it's just Thunder Reliant. But we got through it, so like, I guess it isn't hard. I got through first try, so like, it's pretty easy if you ask me. But this I have yet to get through. But I'm just glad I ran it back last stream for Ultra Ball, because like, I was so mad I lost to the easiest trainer probably in the cup. The seventh battle. I've also realized that um, the tamers in this game, these games, only have two moves. Now I thought it was just that one, but no, it's all tamers. They all have uh, two moves. I think just that one battle, he had like the weakest of moves, like Bubble Beam, Water Gun, and Ember Rapidash. Strongest Pokedex, like, strongest region was Pokemon? Like, that's a hard one actually to describe. Hoenn's got some real good ones. The Lottie Twins are really good. Obviously the Primals. Or are you talking about like in a in a in game like regional decks? Also, this battle I already. Oh, ignoring legendaries, I guess. Probably <sighs> Lucario's pretty good. Sarmi, Sorlax, like there's they really there. A lot of there's a lot of good choices, honestly. Goblin, Crobat's pretty good though. Crobat and Gyarados are pretty good. Crobat's fast. Gyarados got intimidating. Dragon Ants. Pretty self-explanatory. Sorry, Joel Town and Kuno, right? All right, let's get a good team. Come on. I had never played X and Y, actually. One day, for all my Nuzlockers who want to see me Nuzlock the game. Oh, Weezing. Nice try. You're not going to fool me on this one. You got Thunder. Bolt. Even better. I'm going straight to Jolteon. Or are you gonna toxic like you're supposed to? Or are you gonna do that instead? No, you got Thunderbolt first turn. There you go. The fact this guy's not gone for toxic at all is just why. This wheezing is annoying because it's Thunderbolt against my Articuno and Starmie. So I need like, I just need crits. That's all. But you know, Jolteon's so good at not getting them on command, you know? And Sludge, that's gonna do a KO. No, 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 that's gonna KO now. Unbelievable. You get a crit, not Jolteon. Weezing does. Like, what am I supposed to do? Now I have to go into Starmie, because Starmie's faster. I don't think Articuno will outspeed, actually. Even though Articuno's like base 85, I don't think it'll outspeed. Starmie definitely does, though. That's so annoying, dude. Like, that's actually really annoying. Can anyone get a crit? That will not kill me, thankfully. Will this kill? I didn't see the calc on that. I think it kills. Starmie's got lower special, but it's also the surf. Come on. Oh, thank you for the crit! <sighs> Starmie, be useful. Jolty on you too. Like, both of you gotta do something now. We're only almost 40 minutes in, and a po not any of my Pokemon have done anything useful so far. And this is probably gonna be another loss. I don't think a crit will save us. Well, like, it won't kill, but I could use a crit regardless, so Articuno could just kill it easily. Nope! No, 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 no! You, you, you don't crit on that turn, no. Why would you? 
and that will kill me. So now not an Articuno, and Kangaskhan's for sure faster than Articuno. It's base 90 speed. Are we really about to lose this again? And it gets worse from here. The third battle, as you guys know, is the, is the medium who uses uh, Confuse Ray Pokemon, which is just wonderful. Oh, now you go toxic. And that's sad because now it's just going to beat me easily because it's Gen 1 toxic. I can't switch out. Oh, thank you. Articuno got a useful crit. That one matters for sure. Thank you so much, Articuno. Thank you for actually doing something. Well, I'm pretty sure it mattered. Like, Articuno has better special. And of course, you have Polyrath in the back. So now, bro, I think I still lose this regardless. I needed to dodge. I have to use Sky Attack. I have to use Sky Attack and crit. That's all I can do. Yep. Because I died of poison, I can't use Ice Beam for a freeze. I can't use Ice Beam. So we need a crit, sky attack, and just not die to toxic damage, psychic damage, or whatever. We've gotten a scuffed win from this guy before. We can do it again, easily. I mean, if Articuno can dodge two blizzards, Articuno can land and crit sky attack. Ready? Let's see it, Articuno. Nope. I think I lose now. What was awkward? What do I do now? I think I have to use Ice Beam and just crit. I think I did a two Psychics and Toxic Damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I lose this one. I have to crit Ice Beam or something. I don't know. Ice Beam won't kill anyway. I needed a crit sky attack there, but no, I don't get it. Nope. I have to crit, freeze, and then just kill next turn. I think I live the poison damage. Oh no. Oh no, I needed a crit there. I don't know. Use. Do you have hydro pump? If so, use that and, mi and miss, please. Nope. I lose. Wonderful! What a fun game, am I right? I probably would have won that if it weren't for the crit. On the Jolteon from Sludge. Actually unbelievable, dude. Like, I, I can't even begin to s describe what's going on. Sunday tells me we're gonna be here for a long time. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just feeling it. Flareon. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. The best lead. Now you're going to switch out, right? You're going to switch out? I dare you to switch out. Nope. No, you're going to stay in and die to surf like you should. And crit even. Nope. That will not kill. But what are you going to do now? Yeah, you're going to use Toxic now. Dodge. Nope. Would have been very cool. Well, also would have been very cool if this Starmie had a uh, substitute. Articuno's the one with substitute, though. Oh, no, you're going to switch out. Let me guess. Poliwrath? Ah, I could have gotten the Thunder Reed. But nope. I said he chose to surf. But thankfully, we got Thunder. Alright, Starmie, uh, this is your chance to do something cool and, uh, just use Thunder and do something cool, okay? Just something very cool. Something my chat would pop off for. Well, that's not cool enough. You gotta do more than that. And the sad part is, I don't think, uh, a Surf will kill it. I don't think Surf will kill. I think Thunder has to be the choice. But I also need to save Starmie. So let's land Thunder and just pray. Nope, Starmie, that is not cool. 
I should have just gone surf then to take it as safe as possible. And now to switch out. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. I should have done that in the first place. Because now I think I died to... Uh, I think I now die to Flareon, Flamethrower. Well, to be fair, Polyrath actually has like one specific uh, reason to be the best fighting type because it has Amnesia, which is like the best stab boosting move in the game. I should have done this in the first place, honestly, but I chose to stay in and try to use Thunder. It worked, but at what cost? Sorry, me missing a Thunder. Oh, if you want to see the movesets, they're on Cerebi. Just look up Poke, uh, Pokemon Stadium, Poke Cup, Master Ball, and then Cerebi. I don't know. Just something like that. Okay, Kangaskhan is actually nasty. We need to save Starmie. I don't think... We're gonna, probably going to win this one this time, but... I don't think it's going to... Like, I don't think we're going to get a continue out of this. We have to get a crit. We might even die to Body Slam. No, we lived it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to stay in. I almost went to Starmie. No! Battle! I almost went to Starmie. In this generation, uh, there's no- Oh, thank you for the crit! Let's go! Do we kill Flareon? If so, we might get a continue out of this. Gen 1 movesets are weird. Yeah, like... Yeah, a lot of normal types learn, like, how many moves. Also, something's going on in Discord. On my- on another server I'm in, anyway. Is Flareon gonna use Double Edge, or is it gonna use... I can't switch out. I don't know if it's gonna use Double Edge or not. I think it's gonna Double Edge, actually. Like... I don't even, I think it's actually gonna use double edge or quick attack one of the two I don't think I'm allowed to switch out. I think I have to just stay in even if it's uh, oh Yeah, I guess gonna learn that. Yeah, you know who else gets earthquake pineco Yeah, I'm just gonna sack Jolteon. I want a guaranteed win. Okay quick attack. I probably could have gone to Starmie No, I would have died at two quick attacks. Never mind We should get the win now Hopefully. No continue, sadly, but... You know, we still should get the win here. Actually, maybe it's not a guaranteed win yet. So awkward. Yep. Okay, we're good. Thank you. We beat the second trader, chat! We get to move on! With zero continues! This is deja vu right here. It's just like last stream. I get an ultra ball difficulty. That's how Reynolds work. Like a lot of the evolved Pokemon are worse than their pre-evolutions. Look at Kadabra and Alakazam, for example. Alakazam, I think, has Psy Wave, or a lot of the Alakazams have worse. Do not have Psychic. While Kadabra has Psychic for the most part. Like that's how Reynolds work. Often the better, the evolved ones are worse than the pre-evolves. But in this cup, they have actual good movesets. Jolteon and Zapdos both have Thunderbolt. Articuno's Ice Beam. Starmie's got Surf. Rhyhorn's got Rock Slide. That's about it. Oh yeah, this one, medium. Oh yeah, this one is just... Pray for no confusion hacks! Bubbling Purge actually makes sense. It actually makes sense. It it dents the rock types. Especially right on Angolum. That makes sense. But you should have seen the last guy who had a Persian. The last guy who had a Persian, he had a water gun. Yeah, water gun's a TM in Gen 1, reminder. Alright, this fight is just Jolteon, Starmie, Zapdos. Well, it is the strongest move Persian can learn its water type. Like, it's the only move that can, like, hit the hardest against those rock types. Also, perfect Lapras. 
I can actually beat this thing if I, you know, get a certain two words, starts with a C and an H on both, you know? Be very cool. There we go! Let's go, Jolteon! That's what we're talking about! There you go! That's the Jolteon we know! I know I give Jolteon a lot of hate after Prime Cup, but that's the Jolteon we know and love. Good boy! And Magmar! So we get a free Thunderbolt off while he uses Confuse Ray, I assume? Now my question is, is Magmar faster than Starmie? It's base 95 speed, I think? Oh my goodness! Chill out, buddy! Yeah, welcome in, Clark. How are you doing, by the way? Thank you for the Ludico Easies. Shoutouts to my emotes, by the way. And shoutouts to Sarah for uh, making the emotes for me. Do I go Starmie, actually? What's it gonna use? I actually know what it's gonna use. It's not gonna use Confuse Ray, but... Am I faster? Is my Starmie faster? Like, it is initially, but the three level difference plus... Uh... Plus, what's it called? Uh... The, the three level difference plus, uh... Reynolds having terrible... DVs. Oh, nice! I don't- I only have classes on Tuesday and Thursdays. Okay, that one doesn't make sense, but I mean... I think I used it only once, just to find an opposing cadaver or something. You know what? I'm a man of the people. Time to stand. We're going for content. Jolteon's on a roll right now. Oh, you're gonna switch out. Okay, I probably should switch out too, but I mean... To who are you gonna switch out? Gengar? No, Ninetales! Now, speaking of Dig, you definitely have that. Let's go, Jolteon! Let's go! Another one. Aww. Is he going for Dig here? So I can go into Zapdos and then paralyze this thing. Right? It's Dig on this one, right? I want to go to Zapdos for that reason, but I'm terrified it's just gonna... in my Fire Blast for no reason. I'm gonna look this up to make sure this definitely has Dig. I'm just gonna go for it. It can't use Confuse Ray because I'm already confused. Okay. No body slam! That's not good! That's annoying. And I'm slower for sure on that one. I need to paralyze this thing. I actually have to. It does have dig, but it didn't go for it. No Zapdos! Bad Zapdos! No, Zapdos! Come on! No! Zapdos! Oh, now you go for Flamethrower. I'm dead of that, aren't I? Oh, I lived it! Let's go! Thank you, thank you! We got off a Thunder Wave! Okay, it should go Flamethrower here. So I can go into Jolteon. I'm doing this because... Wait, no, it's not gonna go for Confuse Ray. But now it's slower, we can outspeed. And just Thunderbolt spam. Or get paralyzed. Let's go! Okay. Now we just Thunderbolt spam. That's gonna go for Confuse Ray, probably. And please go dig. Just for once. Thank you for the crit. That will save us a turn. Unless... Okay. I think we're good. I think we're, we're absolutely good now. There's Thunderbolt. It's dead. And... 
and now Magmar comes out. And it might go for Confuse Ray or Fire Blast. If it goes Seismic Toss, we win instantly, but I think it's going to be Confuse Ray, actually. Actually, we might still lose this. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm trying to think through this correctly. How can I win easily? Like, I want to get this continue badly. Well, obviously, the best way to do it is to do a certain two words. <sighs> of course, I live on one HP. Okay. Now, nah, I don't want to set up Toxic. I can miss. I had a good shot to kill it there. Oh, wait, I have Starmie in the back. What am I saying? You know what? I'm going for Starmie. We're going to test it out. We're faster. We get a guaranteed win regardless. Uh, Jolteon's faster than Magmar, so we just Thunderbolt. But I want this continue. I'm going to go for it. Fire Blast. Figured. Critical hit. Okay. That's awkward. Just please. Or slower. Unbelievable. Alright, this is gonna determine if we're gonna continue or not. Let's go! We gotta continue! Let's go! But the next few fights are gonna be very rough. Especially like I say, the the fist battle, like Oh my goodness, the fist battle is going to be the absolute worst of them all. I feel pretty lucky that I didn't fight a Gengar. The Gengar probably would have been the absolute worst to deal with, but we did it. No, con we got one continue. But we still got to get through the rest of this tournament. Rocker and his grass ultra types. This guy is so annoying. So, this is where we bring out Articuno, Graveler, and Rhyhorn. Right? No! I picked Starmie! Pick Starmie! No, no. Whew, that would have been. That would have been scary. Articuno, Graveler, and then Rhyhorn. So, for grass types, we substitute. His team is just adding. Uh, ace to his uh, Pokemon nicknames, I guess. But this guy's also all about spamming paralysis. Oh, come in. Welcome back, Eli. Uh, this one is substitute. Easy. And then we just spam Ice Beam. So that should be easy. Does this do a KO, actually? Alright, cool, it does. I was worried that it didn't. I think I set up another substitute, actually. Do I? Do I set up a substitute? I kill, but like, I want to get a substitute off just in case it goes for stun spore. Uh, this is what I get for just for not watching enough, I guess, to understand. I'm gonna go substitute. If I get half health, so be it. I'm hoping this uses stun spore. Just speed runs of this, cause like I have seen some of these before. But, like it's been a few years. It's so, like if I had known, then I would have probably just gone for. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I get a free substitute off against whatever comes in, and thanks for the unnecessary crit, Articuno. You do this every time. Okay. To be fair though, Articuno got one free crit or one good crit anyway so far. Zapdos. So I get off a free ice beam because I have a substitute on. But afterwards I go Rhyhorn. This is why I brought Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn walls.
And who knows? What if I, what if I get a freeze? Nope. That's fine. Uh, Rhyhorn just walls this thing. I mean, yeah, but it does, I don't think... It doesn't Rhydon have Rock Throw? Like, I'd rather have Rock... Uh, Rhyhorn Rock Slide. Gen 1 Zapdos with only Thunderbolt drop, but true. Welcome in, Jake. How are you doing, by the way? Yeah, this is why I bring Rhyhorn, because it walls. As you can see, Rock Slide. He has to switch out now. I probably should have gone Earthquake, but it's a Grass type, probably, so not even a smart move in the first place. And Victor Bell, but that's neutral. Who cares? I'm doing well, too. Except I got a lot of homework to do after this. Well, actually, not a lot today, but rather just. Like, I have a lot of reading and quizzes to do and discussions. And then the next few days is going to be even worse. But yeah, I'm still going to try to manage the stream. So, the downside about this right now is you guys can easily tell um, that uh, that Victor Bill just destroys Gravel and Rhyhorn. I think I, I'm hoping this is the wrong play. I might set Graveler. Rhyhorn I need for Zapdos. But then again, Rhyhorn and Graveler both wall Zapdos. I think I'm going to sack one of the two. The only issue is downside is I don't get to continue, but we should have a guaranteed win, if so. It's so awkward. Because, like, my notes say if, if uh, Rhyhorn versus Grass, I go to Kuno, but... Articuno can lose too. It gets outsped. And I could probably lose the fight. <sighs> you know what? What is this? Razor Leaf incoming? I'm slower than Victory Bell is the issue. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Go for content. I want that continue. I really want it. If Articuno dies, I'm dead. But I want to continue badly. Yeah, Razor Leaf. I'm not dead in another one. Yeah, Stun Spore. I probably should have just sacked uh, Graveler. Alright. Now, please kill. I don't know if this kills. Thank you! Good crit! Alright, free continue. Paid off. Sometimes, Chad, you gotta go for the risky plays. Okay, now we just go... We just go Rhyhorn, and we get a guaranteed win. And a free continue. Oh, paid off. Feels so good. So now we're after this battle, we're gonna get to the really dumb stuff of this tournament. Like, the really dumb stuff. And it all begins with the fifth battle. Obviously, this is never gonna be, like, harder than, uh, Pika Cup. But, like, it's still pretty dumb. Like, the next battle is just gonna be really unfair. Hey, you were right, Jake. This has a drill pack. This just doesn't touch Rhyhorn at all. And even then, I have, uh... Graveler in the back, who does not have a rock move, but has Seismic Toss. Okay. Rocker down. Two continues, so we're getting somewhere now. But this next fight, this next fight, like, you just gotta pray. All we can do. Not as hard as Fisher, but just pray. Old man here. Gentleman, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, he's got that Dragonite again, and I'm pretty sure he always picks it all the time. No, 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 no. It's it's that or Snorlax. Yeah, it doesn't have a rock move. It has Seismic Toss, Self-Destruct, Earthquake, and... Actually, I could check right here. Uh, Strength. Rhyhorn has a rock move. And it also has Earthquake. But this one is Zapdos, Articuno, Graveler. Right, just double-checking. Zapdos, Articuno, Graveler, yeah. 
Zapdos is a Thunder Wave every lead. Whatever comes out first, we have to Thunder Wave. Yep, even Electrode, we have to Thunder Wave. This goes Reflect, turn one. And then, yeah. Reflect turn one, that's fine. We Thunder Wave all the time, so we're faster. But that doesn't really matter, because then it's just going to Thunder Wave me now. So then we go into Graveler. Yeah, Graveler, uh... After Thunder Wave Electrode, then switch back to Zapdos. Interesting. So my notes, so the doc's telling me to go into... Uh, this patient's telling me to go into... Zapdos after the switch end. So it's gonna use Thunder Wave here. That's a no-brainer. And then switch back to Zapdos. Because I think what's gonna come out now is a Dragonite, probably. Either that or Snorlax. One of the two. We do need to save Graveler for the Electrode regardless. Even if it has Hyper Beam. I'm pretty sure it has Hyper Beam anyway. Of course it stayed in. But at least we get off a free Thunderbolt. Nah, I'll use Thunderbolt regardless. This has to reflect up. Which we do not want it to, you know. We don't want it to, uh... We want to weaken it as much as possible, basically. And now it's going to Thunder Wave again. I'm just going to stay in. He didn't switch out, so, like, that's awkward. I don't know what to do about that now. I think I'm just going to stay in. I'm just going to Earthquake. Okay, he didn't switch out. So I don't think he has Dragonite. He might have Snorlax in the back then instead. This will not kill because the Reflect. And it's going to Hyper Beam, it seems. Or not. It's just going to get paralyzed. That too. I'm wondering, is he going to switch out? If I were him, I'd switch out because he could have Articuno in the back as well. I think I'm... I don't have a Rock move, right? I don't have a Rock move. Regardless, I'm just going to Earthquake. Okay. He's going to sack Electrode. That's fine. I guess. This is so awkward. What's the... What are his last two? He could have Snorlax. He could have Articuno. Snorlax. Okay. If it's Snorlax, what do we do? I think we actually just straight up boom. I think we boom here. Because he has Snorlax, he doesn't have a Dragon Eye anymore. So that's good. I guess. Do we just boom? Yeah, if Gravel or Snorlax is boom. So, yeah. Now we get to boom chat. Let's pray for a crit as well while we're at it. You're faster than me, it's awkward. Okay. We lived, okay. And now just boom. This will definitely not kill. Yeah, they didn't even do half. Yikes. That's how weak that Graveler is. Uh, when that, next we go Articuno. That being said, however, we're still not guaranteed a win yet, obviously, and, like, whatever I'm doing might not just be the correct play. I don't know if that's the best way I can word it, but yeah, that will not kill. Another ice beam will not kill. Psychic Sorlax, that's an interesting one. But it's enough for me to be annoyed because you just got a special drop. Articuno, buddy? 
I think I was actually supposed to use Substitute there. That's annoying. I was supposed to use Substitute there, wasn't I? I got too greedy. That's my fault. I should have used Substitute there. <sighs> now I gotta switch out. Into Arcanine. Hey, Artic Articuno, if there's any time in the world you should get a freeze, it should be right here. Nope. Ugh, that's so annoying, dude. I've got no switch-ins. Zapdos will not take it. Graveler died already. I already let it die. If Articuno versus Paralyzed Arcanine. Yeah. I think I have to just straight up sack. Oh wait, I'm already out. Ice Beam. We just got freeze. All we can do. I think I'm already dead at that minus one. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Like, to be fair, this fight is really hard. I probably got a bit unlucky because the Electro didn't switch out like I thought it would. We have to Thunder Wave. We have to Thunder Wave no matter what. And Flamethrower, that's just like really scary already. Yeah, we live that easily. It's actually still winnable, but not likely. We just need some crits and paralysis luck. All we need. That'll not get it done, buddy. Nope. We lose. Yeah, like, I feel like I lost the moment he used hyper. He didn't switch out from Electrode. He stayed in. And that's just like, what am I supposed to do about that? You know? We still got two. We still got two get two, so we got two tries left to beat this man. Yeah, this team. We need really the best team possible, I guess. Electro lead is just like that's good. Yeah, but like, it's not enough. This is Battle 5, old man. Battle 5. We need some luck. Like, I know I shouldn't be switching out on the Graveler versus Electrode, but the thing is, I have to. Like, what if he switches out into Dragonite? I need, like, to switch into Articuno the moment, or Zapdos the moment that happens so I can paralyze whatever comes out. Uh, probably not. I've never played it before, and I don't have any plans to play anytime soon. I'm gonna go into Zapdos. I need him to switch out. I need him to switch out. Like, this fight is just so RNG dependent, because, like, you just don't know what he's gonna do. He can do literally anything. Thank you! Okay, we gotta run. Articuno. Yes, this is a master. Welcome in, by the way, GGS. How you doing? What do we do about this Articuno? I have to paralyze, I think. 
I think I have the Thunder Wave, Articuno. Yeah, we have to Thunder Wave. We have to. Here's the scary part. Okay. 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 We love that. If that's a crit, it's an instant loss, by the way. If it's a crit or a freeze, it's just an instant loss. Like, we will not win at all. And now we have to sack Zapdos. And then Articuno has to substitute every time. Or our Articuno will have to. That's why this fight is ridiculous. This Articuno is just way too powerful. Thankfully it doesn't kill Zapdos unless it gets a crit. But yeah. So we go Articuno. And we have to substitute every time. Every single time. And then we also have to beat whatever's the last Pokemon too. While we're at it. Like this fight is just super unforgiving. Okay, Toxic, perfect. That's why you substitute. We need some paralysis luck. The best way I could put it. Thankfully, thankfully Electrode's free. Because then has to use uh, Reflect or Hyper Beam. Nope. We have to use Substitute again. We have to. Especially if it goes for Toxic here, which I don't know if it will at this point. It sees the fact that it's probably going to die. We also need you to get paralyzed, Articuno. We have to substitute every time until we get a paralysis. That's the only way to win this. What? You're going to switch out. Why? Are you going into Sorlax? That's so weird. But also, that's not good. We need a freeze. We actually need a freeze now. If we want a guaranteed win, we have to freeze. Psychic. That will not... Yeah, that won't. What? We need a crit. Come on, buddy. Nope. Okay. This isn't the end of the world yet. Amnesia, that is not good. That is really not good. Because now it sees the fact that it can just, you know, do that. Buddy, we need more. Why did he use Amnesia on the second turn? Articuno, we need a freeze, a crit, anything. If we want to win this. Come on, Articuno. Thank you. All right. Oh, thank you, Articuno. Did something. So we need it. I think we should get a guaranteed win now. I think. I have no idea, actually. Electro does not really harm Graveler that much. It only has, like, Hyper Beam and Explosion. Articuno's paralyzed, so we just decide to toss it. I think we should have a guaranteed win now. It'd be funny if we just paralyze it every turn as well. We also have a substitute on. Hey! Alright. We, that should be an easy win now. Guaranteed. 
I don't think an Articuno paralyzed will outspeed a Graveler. This is also Gen 1 paralysis. This is not Gen 7 paralysis. Yeah, we should have a win here. Thank goodness. That fight is annoying. Like, really annoying. But that being said, however, we still have to do the next three fights with one continue. And if we lose any of those and lose our continues, we're going back to the beginning. That's why this is so stressful. Articuno. You know, I'm not even mad. I got a good crit. Like, I'll just take whatever at this point, you know? Oh, I'm actually kind of stressed right now from this. Bad. This should be a guaranteed win now. Right? Yeah. I was actually tempted to substitute there, but I don't think we need to. Oh, yeah, the kills anyway. Yeah, all right, cool. Okay. Best battle down. Got stupid lucky, but we did it. But that being said, however, we're still not, like, in the best of shape for this tournament as a whole. We still got three battles to go. Only one continue. And Beauty here, even though she's been an annoying pain in the butt to me, she's still going to be a very annoying pain in the butt because she's got... A Vaporeon, and that Vaporeon is like the most annoying thing you have to, uh, to fight. And she's got ground and uh, water team, I've noticed. It's interesting, but annoying. Wait, what's the strategy? I think it's just evasion still. But this one is Jolteon Articuno Army. Yeah, Jolteon, Articuno Army, and Thunderbolt everything. And then go Gardicuno on the, on the ground. Excuse me, on the ground types. Vaporeon. That is the one lead I did not want to see. Yeah, we got Thunderbolt spam. Yes, good crit. That won't kill, actually. Yeah. But that's a very good crit. And Soif. Okay. Good crit. Amazing start. Actually, amazing start. Oh, you're f oh yeah, quick attack. Oh, no. Non-stop quick attack. Whatever will I do? Oh, I'm I know I keep saying this already, but I'm actually like worried right now for no reason But you know, we just gotta keep playing Tentacruel If it's tentacruel, I think we just stay in a Thunderbolt still Cuz I don't think I'm gonna continue on this one Nope. That's worrisome now. Really worrisome. That's actually very, very worrisome. Because it outspeeds Starmie. I'm pretty sure it does. Base 100 speed versus base 115, but terrible DVs and two levels higher than me. So that's going to be very annoying. Yeah, we have to go Starmie. And then just Thunder. All we can do. Wait, did she pick all of her water types? I'm actually curious. I really feel like she just picked all of her water types. I'll just find out. Mega Drain, that's also very annoying. Uh-oh! Come on, Starmie! You wouldn't want to disappoint me now. Starmie! Why, Starmie? It's not the time! <laughs> Sorry. 
Starmie! Starmie? Thank you, that will not kill though! You needed a crit there, Starmie. You needed a crit. <sighs> That's not good. This might be an L, Chad. This might be another L. We just lost our two electric moves against probably the Gyarados in the back. What's the right move? What do I do? I don't think the sky attack will not kill the sting. I think I have to just pray for a freeze. Yeah. Starmie, you needed a lamp thunder, buddy. You chose not to do it. We need a freeze. Just freeze. All we can do, buddy. Nope. Yeah, I don't think a crit will help us even. Oh, man. That's such, such pain, dude. The one time I have to use thunder. You need a freeze. You just gotta get a freeze. And then hope the last Pokemon is something like Rhydon. Yeah. Nope. That's an L. Okay. We still gotta continue, but now, like... I <laughs> want Gyarados! <laughs> Come on, man! Nah. It was over. It was Gyarados. I knew it. The moment she didn't switch out, I was like, I knew it was Gyarados. You have to go this, Jolteon, Articuno, Starmia. Yeah. Come on. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do now. Had a cool again, buddy. Why? Come on, Jolteon. We need some luck. You're gonna switch on to ground type, aren't you? You got a ground type in the back. Hopefully not Doug Trio. Of course it's Doug Trio. Why wouldn't it be Doug Trio? Why would it not be? And now. Ground types, we have to go Articuno. Come on, just Earthquake, please. I don't know what else you got, but just Earthquake. Thank you. I have no reason to substitute. You have Brock Slide, are you kidding me? Yeah, buddy, that's game. That's game. Well, not really yet, but like, I think it might be over here. Like, this this is just really difficult. Come on. You gotta switch out. I should've just thundered. Like, how am I supposed to know? What do you got? Tentacruel in the back still? They have Tentacruel. I have to just thunder. All I can do. I need some paralysis luck. Come on. What a high roll that was. Okay, that's a whole lot of nothing you got there. You know what, this time I'm just gonna switch out. I need Starmie for the Duck Trio, but now I think Starmie just loses the Duck Trio. I don't think I win this one at all. Like, Duck Trio just comes out after this. I think we just lose. He's just gonna go into Duck Trio. Or, or not? Why would you? Thank you for the crit. Okay. 
We have a shot, I feel like, but not really. I think we still lose. She's got another Pokemon in the back. It has to be, it has to be right on order to win this. No, Aerodactyl. Okay. Aerodactyl, that's a weird choice. What do you have? I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. Double edge. Ah, that's it. Okay. Nope, that's a loss. Instant loss. I I I died of that. I could have definitely lived with double edge. But nope. I get crit. We lose now. It just uses... What does it use? What does it use? Surf? Uh, not... I use Surf, but then I just don't kill it. And then Dugtrio's in the back. I lose. I'm pretty sure I just lose this one. Is this Double Edge even? I'm just gonna Thunder. All I can do, really. I have to Thunder. Nope. And in Gen 1, FYI, uh, Thunder does not have flying. I didn't know it was going to go for fly. I was going to go for double edge, like, you know, like it should. But nope. Like, what am I supposed to do? I live that, but I just died at Dark Trio now. Unless I crit surf and then it uses rock slide and misses for no misses. Now nah, I'm dead of that. Yeah, it's just like, I just lose. Yeah. Well, chat, it's the bad news. We're going back to the beginning. I got really unlucky, I have to admit. Like, really unlucky on that Aerodactyl. I probably could have won, actually. So I probably would have taken a slash from the Doug Trio. But, you know, sometimes you're just not lucky. We're going to try again, though. It really hurt. It really sucks for me. Like that—that that was a pretty okay run too. But now I have to do all those battles again. Sadly, that's the cruelty of Stadium One. And how hard it is. Now, this guy's a metronome team. He's uses—he uses, uh, he uses metronome Pokemon. That's his gimmick. Now, if you want to see those two, just wait till the final battle, Jake. Just wait till the final battle. You went for stomp turn one. Okay. You did not go for counter. Interesting. Just don't flinch. Of course you flinched. I'm using substitute regardless, Mr. Mime. I don't care what you think. But now that Kinesis is actually very annoying because now I can actually miss Ice Beam. If my sub breaks, I'm going to switch out. That's my plan. Ugh, I can't believe I have to do those battles again. Like, that's what annoys me. Like, at times I wish I could just stay stay, but nah. We just have to do it the way it was intended to be. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mime is the real master with the spoons. Not not Cadaver Alakazam. Mr. Mime. Exactly. Oh my goodness, Splash! Oh no! Oh man, how did we not die to that? That's insane. Phew, I thought I was dead to splash there, but nope. Isn't that the first time I've seen splash from Metronome? I feel defeated right now, like, 
like honestly i just have no words to describe what happened like i just got really unlucky oh my goodness <laughs> clefable what are you doing all right one speed tie win can we get another win no, you're going for the correct move. Oh, you missed. You copied my accuracy. You copied my accuracy. That's the fun part. That's hilarious. I forgot that I'm a minus one accuracy. That is not Gen 1 miss. That's not in the game. In this game. Oh, critical hit. Articuno, get this luck in, in the actual, like, big battles later on. Earthquake! <laughs> okay, that should... Okay, to a KO, interesting. Okay, bye to... Oh no, I have a substitute, we're fine. We're su I have a substitute on. Shout out to Substitute, man. What a good move. Like... Stadium has been teaching me how good Substitute is. As a whole, it is pretty good, but like, I don't use it a lot, like, often at all. But like, in here, it's really good. Alright, Akuna, just one more ice beam, we're good. You didn't miss a single one, that is actually insane. How did Articuno not miss a single one? Meanwhile, my opponent, Articuno, missed it. Like, that's the luck that happens only in the first battle. Not in later battles, just first battle only. Yeah, this guy's free, easy, obviously, but, like, every fight is just as difficult as the last. That's why this, this is really hard. How did I get through Master Ball Prime Cup so easily yet? I'm struggling over here with Poke Cup. I'm gonna be here for the next few days on this. Okay, Biker with Starmie, Jolteon, Articuno. Also, this music is not fitting because Mewtwo isn't here. Just wait till the end of the game where we see Mewtwo. Nido King lead. Uh, this is perfect. We just swipe. Like, this is what I want to see. I don't want to see any leads of Weezing or... Something as uh, Kangaskhan who just doesn't get to a kill by Surf. Earthquake, why are you not going toxic? Do that already, just for once. Toxic. But no, the AI is like, oh, I can actually just, you know, not do that. That's so annoying. All right. Oh, thank you for a very good crit. Thank you so much, Starmie. I swear. Like, I have gotten how many useless crits today? I've gotten only, like, two useful crits. The Vaporeon was actually pretty useful, but, like, I lost a fight, so it didn't really matter. This is Thunderbolt. We go... You know what? I'm just gonna stand. I'm just gonna stand. This is Thunderbolt. So be it. I'm just gonna stand and just sack it. A oh, critical hit, actually a good crit. Thank you. Now Jolteon just kills you. Bye. So yeah, Starmie dies here. Darn shame, whatever. But Jolteon just kills you now. Now I'm not risking Articuno. That's the good thing about this Jolteon. Like, it's fast and it has Thunderbolt. Like, that's all I've wanted for Jolteon, not Thunder. But sadly, this Thunder Jolteon will not end from Prime Cup. Like, Prime Cup is not the last time we'll be seeing it. Just wait till Gym Leader Castle. Alright, this should kill. So, bye. Right? Thank you. I was gonna be crying if it didn't kill somehow. And Kangaskhan. Not what I wanted to see.
Yeah, that's not good. We took a KO it. It's a range to a KO. Okay. Okay. Not a bad outcome if, you know. Let's just pray. Come on, crit. Get the range. <laughs> of course you don't get the range. Of course. Why would Jolteon ever not get the ranges? You know why? Why would Jolteon should never get those ranges at all? And now we take a body slam, and then we have the one we won the last Pokemon. Honestly, I would have gone for Toxic there, but, you know, like, we take a Body Slam easy. Okay, what's the last one? Please do something just easy. Like... Uh... Actually, there aren't any... Oh, wait, I already won. My bad. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot where the last Pokemon I didn't notice. My bad. Okay. Never mind, we won. I forgot. Yeah, I was like, this is a 3v4. Yeah, we're going to have an easy time with that. That's a little bit paying attention lately. But we won, and we have our continue still. Our one continue that we need to save for the later fights. Alright. Jolteon, Starmie, Zapdos, was it? Uh, yeah. So if we got through RNG last time, let's do it again. Come on, Jolteon. Simple as that. Lapras lead once again. Perfect. Jolteon, you did it last time. Let's do it again. Two words. Both start with a C and an H. Come on. Do it for me. Hey! Jolteon's two for two. Let's go. Oh. Was that a range? Are you kidding me, dude? That was actually a range. What? Bruh, I got the lowest roll possible, I guess, just now, and then I got, like, the highest roll possible or something. What? Okay, you guys switch out now. Why? I have no idea. Ninetales? Yep. How about we get a paralysis? How about we get a paralysis? Come on. Get the paralysis. Be very cool. Get it. Nope. You know what would be cool, though, if you could just... Also, uh, go for dig here. That'd be cool. Just go for dig, not body slam, dig or something. Wait, why did I switch out? You're gonna use Confuse Ray. Why did I switch out? That's me throwing right there. You're gonna use Confuse Ray or something. Oh, you go for dig. Never mind. We're good. That, that was that was all the plan, chat. See? It hurts being too smart, you know? It hurts being too smart. And now we just Thunder Wave. It just hurts, you know? I know. I'm cool. I, I'm too I'm too good at this game. Alright, let's get a paralysis. And then we should be able to beat this thing. And Starmie and Lapras is weakened, so that's actually pretty good. Alright, Confuse Ray. Who was my last Pokemon, Starmie? Let's go Starmie. We need to keep Jolteon alive for the Gengar. So we go Starmie. Just get a Paralysis, buddy. Just get a Paralysis and we're golden. Come on. Nope. Okay, then we're fine. We're still fine, though. Surf should kill it. So good, Night Tails. Bye. The fact that I got the probably the lowest roll in Lapras, like, wow. I did not know that was a range on a crit. It's kind of sad, but I mean, we got the roll the first time, but we didn't the second time. Magmar, this is the same team. What gifts? And we're slower as we learn, so let's just crit. All we can do.
No, Stormy. And what does this Magmar have? Fire Blast, was it? I'm gonna go for it. Oh, Sizzic Toss. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Good thing I stayed in. Let's go! Alright, crit! Nope. That will not kill. Now, what is this next move gonna be? And is that... No, 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 no. Is this gonna be Fire Blast, or is it gonna be Seismic Toss? I hope it's Seismic Toss, then we just get a free win with Jolteon. I'm gonna go Jolteon. I might actually throw doing this, because Jolteon outsleeves Magmar. We take a Seismic Toss all the time. Or is it going to go for Confuse Ray? Nah, it sees a kill. It has to go for Seismic Toss. Okay, cool. We should be faster and then just Thunderbolt. Come on, Jolteon. Come on, buddy. Oh, I was a range. Never mind. Wait, hold on. Psychic? Uh... No, never mind. Actually, we might still lose this. Hear me out, chat. Um, I was trying to go for continue. That's why I switched out. I thought I would kill, but I did not kill. And now it's actually possible we lose this. Because Zapdos is slower, so... It's just going to use Confuse Ray as a last-minute effort. Thank you. Okay. To get a guaranteed win, I think we switch out Zapdos. And just sack Starmie, since we already don't get to continue. We are faster, right? Zap Lapras is slow. And yeah, we're at the same level. I should definitely be faster. And if I'm not, I'm actually going to be mad. So we just sack Starmie to get a guaranteed win. I hope, as long as we're faster. I could have gotten a continue, but sadly I got I did not get a crit on the Magmar. But we should have a guaranteed win here. And now Zapto should outspeed and get the kill. I just get worried because, like, my DVs are so bad. My mineral Pokemon are so bad that they could get outsped by something like Lapras, but no, we're faster. All right. Back to Battle 4. And really, we're not making any progress until we get to the sixth battle and win. Then we got a PV. So, Rocker, as we learn, has. A mix of grass lurker types. We need Articuno so we can substitute on the paralysis switch ins. Honestly, this might be my last attempt. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't have all the time in the world. I need I do need to I need to like do something at two or so. It's not just homework. I have to do some form as well. That I don't tell. Okay. Are we going to grab Lord Rhyhorn? Two? Thank you for the two joke. So kind. Raichu! Okay. If it's Raichu, we go immediately to Graveler, I think. Yep. Immediately on Graveler. Not Rhyhorn. I don't know why. I guess because R Graveler has... I don't know. Rhyhorn is there for Zapdos, I guess, while Graveler takes care of the other electric types. And we just Earthquake. We don't have to use Self-Destruct, and if he switches out, which he isn't... Yeah. Perfectly fine.
Now, just right you at Surf, though, we would have had issues. Yeah, it lives because of the four level difference. Would have died otherwise. Otherwise. So now that Raichu's dead, what comes out? A grass stop, I assume. So I think we do not get a continue here. We only get one continue so far. That's gonna suck. Victory Bell. This is gonna go Razor Leaf, so I can actually go into Articuno. I need this continue so badly, dude. I actually need this kit so badly. So if Raichu shows up, by the way, what does that mean? Oh, no, so no Jolteon, I think. Yeah. I want this continue so badly. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to stack Graveler. I, I don't know what he has in the back, but I need to keep Articuno healthy as much as possible. Especially if it lands uh, Stun Spore. That's why I was debating, hesitating. I want to keep Articuno as healthy as possible. I have Rhyhorn in the back just in case. I hate seeing Victory Ball because this can Stun Spore and it's faster than Articuno because, you know, why wouldn't it be? Base 70 speed? Yeah, it's going to outspeed Articuno with base 85 because my terrible DBs. That's why Rental Pokemon are just the worst. Regardless, we substitute, no matter what. You just gotta pray that we miss, I guess. Oh, you're gonna go, okay. To who? Zapdos? Oh, I could've definitely swapped into Articuno. No. Okay. That's annoying. I probably could have gotten a continue for that, but nope. I didn't know he would have Zapdos. And Zapdos is like the best case scenario because Rhyhorn just walls. But I don't know, I just want to be as safe as possible. Anyways, this is going to Thunderbolt again. So I just go into Rhyhorn. And like I said, this is the reason why I bring Rhyhorn over uh, Rhydon. Rock Slide is just way better than, I don't know what Rhydon has, Rock Throw. Now, because I'm not going to continue, I'm just going to sack Rhyhorn to Victory Bell. And that being said, however, I still don't get a guarantee win yet because of that switch. I needed a crit on the Zapdos because if so, I could have gone to my sub still, you know. But the off chance it somehow just goes for Stun Spore on the switch in. The Earthquake, just in case, you never know. Yeah, let's go to Razor Leaf. But yeah, seeing Victor Ball twice is just unfortunate, I guess. Could he, can he not bring Victor Bell? I'm curious to see. Yeah, this is Ziggy Tour. Yeah, he could just not bring it. Okay, no matter what, we have to substitute. So that's like a bit of a risky game, but we have to. I'm just worried about, you know, there it is. Please, just please. Nope, that's not good. Okay, we got our substitute off. We just got a crit and we win. That's all. Acid, does that break my sub? It doesn't, interesting. All right, crit, all we can do. Hey, good crit, thank you. Okay. 
We're back to Battle 5, which we got through, but, I mean, it's gonna be a mess. And we still gotta get through the rest of the battles after that. So we're back to Battle 5. And how long was it? 30, 20 minutes or so? Probably 25. Only one continue. So that's a bit worrisome. Let's see, uh, Zapdos lead, obviously, we have to Thunder Wave everything. And then Articuno Graveler, was it? Okay. Oh, I'm a bit worried right now. I don't know why. Alright, Electrode, perfectly fine. Thunder Wave. This always goes Reflect turn one. But seeing that worries me because... Uh... He could have anything else. Alright, now we go Graveler and then we have to switch back to Zapdos. Like, it's just RNG. Just... The first time he didn't... He used Hyper Beam on the Graveler for... Because... He has... He didn't have uh, What's it called? Snorlax. The second time he had Snorlax. So now we have to go back to Zapdos and just pray he goes into Snorlax or something. Right? That's what my notes say. This, this battle is just like unforgiving super annoying it's like what can you do but just pray so please just go switch out oh my goodness no that is not good miss nope that means he has arcanine and that's like really not good So I have to go back into Graveler, and then just kill it. So this is just like the first attempt again. It's not good. And now we just Earthquake. And maybe hope for paralysis as well while we're at it. Or a crit, one of the two. This time no paralysis, but can we get a miss? Hey, all right. So we still have a healthy graveler for what seems to be Snorlax coming up next. I can't tell. It's probably going to be Snorlax and an Arcanine. Like, it's just, this fight is terrible. It's super unfair. No, it's Dragonite. Uh, what do you have? And why are you here now? Oh, you have Blizzard. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's fun. I go Articuno, apparently, so... I have to go Articuno. Yes, indeed. Real Dragonite. Just please, Miss Blizzard. Nope. Okay. Now, the downside about this Dragonite, even though I could probably kill it, here's a downside, chat. You want to know what this thing has? It doesn't have Fire Blast. Instead, it has Thunderbolt. Okay, yeah, we lived it. Okay. I was like, I, I can live with Thunderbolt. I just have to dodge two crits. 
which, easier said than done. And yeah, I'm honestly shocked that kills. Like, a five-level difference, I don't think it would have killed. I don't think it would have killed if I had, like, even worse special. But thankfully, Articuno has good special in Gen 1. What's last? Arcanine? Yep. The plus side about having a healthy Graveler is, uh, I think now, Graveler's a healthy uh, switch in. But that being said, however, it's still not guaranteed win. And I have no idea what to do right now. Do I just sack Articuno? I mean, it'll obviously die, but like... I want to paralyze this thing. I want to paralyze this dog. Oh, it has Dig? Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I need a... I need a sack Articuno. Yeah. I have to. I don't think I got any other choice. Because I have to do now is uh, paralyze... I don't want to risk a crit on Zapdos here. I love this song so much, dude. I recommended it to John, and let's see if he actually puts it one day, which he probably won't, but that's okay. I love this song so much. We have to paralyze this dog. Okay. Good. And now, because it's paralyzed, I think we're allowed to go into gravel under earthquake. And the reason why I do this is because now it's gonna go for flamethrower still. And then this Arcanine also has dig. So, like, if it goes for Dig, I can just pray for Paralysis, and then I can also just go back into Zapdos. Alright, perfect. Paralysis. Awesome. All we need now is just some RNG here. There's the Dig. And now we should get a guaranteed win. We just go into Zapdos, Thunderbolt, we can lose Zapdos, whatever, and then where Overlord just kills. So, that's gonna do it for this man. We got really lucky. If any if Dragonite crit Articuno at any point, it was a guaranteed loss. Artic uh, Articuno isn't that strong, but I'm honestly surprised it still kills with Ice Beam, but also <laughs> wall paralysis. Wait. Wait, no no no, it just comes back up. Okay. I was like, does this stay underground? No. Oh, it just kills, okay. I probably could have gotten a continue, actually, but I just didn't want to risk a crit on Zapdos. So it was a guaranteed loss, otherwise. Because Articuno gets outsped. We need the paralysis. Okay, we ran it back to the sixth battle. We're back in the sixth battle. Let's get our win back, please. Come on. Jolteon Articuno Starmie, right? Yeah. Does one note say? Please, give me my win back. I need the win back really badly. Right on. No. Ugh. I don't want to see right on. I don't want to see you in your ugly face. I have to go Articuno. I, I'm just seeing T Duncan type of diesel stroke right now. I can feel it. I, I can just feel it. And especially with a name like Righty. Gonna be honest, I don't think Ice Beam will kill. You would never do that. Mm, I don't know about that one, Duncan. I'm gonna be honest, if Ice Beam didn't kill a Golem, I don't think an Ice Beam will kill a Rhydon. 
We can also get a freeze here. That would be very cool. If we could just freeze. Nope. Nope. No, why would I ever get a freeze? Like, why would I ever? If Articuno versus Vaporeon or Tentacruel, I have to go Jolteon, apparently. So, that's not good. But you know what? We gotta gamble for it. Because I don't know what Vaporeon's gonna do. <sighs> of course. Now you make a decent joke. This is so scary. Like, I'm switching out. That's why I hate this game so much. Please, Jolteon. Please. Please, Jolteon. Please. Just please. Please, Jolteon. Please. Please. Nope. I needed a crit there. Badly. And I just had Ice Beam. That's so rough, dude. Because now, sad truth is, I have to now rely on Starmie here. I can't go Articuno. Articuno doesn't do anything. You think Starmie would be the best Pokemon for this, but because of Thunder, it's like, it isn't. That Thunderbolt, though? Absolutely would have. Actually, I don't think Thunderbolt would have killed Vaporeon. Thunder actually kills. It should. Oh, I didn't. Okay, never mind. I uh, take back my words. Ah, ha, ha. Nice try. Nice try, clown. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nope. No, 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 no. I don't want to see you be doing this stuff on me. No. Get out of here, you clown. I was going to say, if that didn't kill, if that didn't kill, I would have probably just, like, ended stream right there. That being said, however, we're still not guaranteed getting a guaranteed win. We need... Rhydon is a good start, thankfully, but... Aerodactyl! Okay, it's not a healthy Starmie, but I'm actually gonna use Harden here. That's right, we're actually using Harden strats, chat. Actually... Using Harden strats, and this is why. Use it on the fly turn. And then we just Surf. I know, chat, for the first time ever, we're actually using hardened strats. Look at that. We eat. Hey, good crit. All right. Sadly, they're not going to continue, but overall, we actually won that one. All right, cool. We win. GG. We're moving on to semifinals, chat. Here we go. Start for the lame tamer who has like two moves for no reason, but he's got an interest an actual good theme this time. It's not like the dumb lasting me out of flinching. He has like an actually very strong theme. But we can guarantee win. Right on to slower. Only one continue, sadly. I really want to get a continue in this next fight. I don't know if I will though. But let's see what happens. But Tamer here. Let's see if you guys can figure out what his theme is. Uh, if any of you guys... Alright. You know what? For all my non-VIP people, if any of you get the theme correct, you get VIP. Just kidding. Probably not. I don't know. Like, I have a reward for it, so you guys gotta start grinding on VIP. But let's see if you guys can just figure out the theme regardless. Just by the look of it. Don't look up. Just by the look of the team. Like, think about the moves each, each Pokemon learn. Just think. Especially when you see a Scyther. Like, what's the first thing you think of when you see a Scyther, especially? That's the best way I can put it. Okay, but uh, this guy. Yeah, Pain, but like, he's got an actual theme. It's not flinching this time. Instead, it's something... Taking advantage of a Gen 1 mechanic. That's the best way to put it. But Tamer here... This is why we bring Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn counters Charizard and Scyther. But not exactly Charizard, because Charizard can actually live a rock slide from a Rhyhorn. Like, look at the stats. Graveler's got 120 attack. Rhyhorn's got 110. If Graveler's using rock slide, then yeah, it would actually kill. Probably. 
But it's a really low chance to kill with Char against Charizard. Just an example. Yeah, if you guys figure out the theme? Like, before going to the battle. Right Horn Articuno Zapdos, that's the team plan. Welcome in, Abino, how are you doing? Welcome in. Yes, Eli's got it. It is a critical hit team. Ra Venusaur, you can already guess what this thing has. This has Razor Leaf. Also for this, we go Articuno, I think, right? Yeah, we go Articuno. <laughs> I was just kidding, Eli. My apologies. You guys can grind for it, but yeah. Good on you, Eli. You're grind. Don't worry, Eli. I'm not planning to change the price or anything. Oh, I'm it's there for you guys can grind. Yeah. Venus has got auto crit razor relief. Duck Trio Persian and who was it? Scyther? They all learned Slash. Kingler's got Crab Hammer. And who was the last one? Charizard also got Slash. That is literally his gimmick. Actually, if a mods here is willing to do a prediction in the final battle, that'd be pretty cool. That being said, though, we're still out of the woods yet. Okay. Oh my goodness. I panicked from that. Thank you, Nikki. My apologies. I actually forgot I have that. I was panicking because, like, I got a crit at the same time. Oh, dude. I forgot I have these sound effects. And it's like, I literally just flinched. I'm sorry. But yeah. Thank you for those, guys. I also just got freeze. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, look, Nikki, welcome in. Also, for those curious, Nikki has actually been streaming recently. So, if you guys could give a shout out to Nikki B's two for twenty, and I'll give a shout to you. But if you guys could follow, would appreciate. Nikki's been a recent streamer. A uh, recent streamer. Would appreciate it. Yeah, he's been playing em Emerald lately. All right, Kingler. Thank you for the bonk. Uh, Kingler, this is awkward. Yeah, no problem. Although I will say Nature Power isn't very good in Gen 3, but like, it can still do something, especially with uh, in Sand where it gets Earthquake, but yeah. I don't know, like, once you get an Evolve, Ludicolo will be very good because a lot of the Pokemon late game are water types, and Ludicolo is both weak, to, uh, resists both, a uh, quad resists water. And that's very good. And solely with a tier 1 for 3 months, real 3 months, thank you so much. I still need to set up a, a, a TTS for that, but thank you for the 3 months. Welcome in, by the way, how are you doing? Kingler, what do I do about Kingler? I, it says go Zapdos on Kingler, so I might as well. So this should be Crab Hammer. I'm doing fine. Oh yeah, Earthquake is a pretty good move after all. As you can see, Crab Hammer does not kill Zapdos, so we outspeed it and it's just Thunderbolt. Oh, never mind. I'm slower. Why? Why am I slower? That doesn't make any sense. It's 75 base speed versus my 100. Am I just really that bad? Okay, we killed it, thankfully. Please be right, uh, not right. Please be Scyther. Please be Scyther. Please be Scyther. If there's any time in the world I want to Scyther. Persian, what is your last move? Thunderbolt, you do not harm my horn. Perfect. Okay. You're going to use Slash here. That's fine. Right horn should just beat this thing easily. I think we take enough Slashes. I hope. This is why we bring Rhyhorn. 40 damage. I'm slower. We just Earthquake. That's all we do. Just spam Earthquake. And slowly this should die. This is Thunderbolt, not Bubble Beam. Thank goodness. As an as SD4 game. I'm playing Pokemon Stadium. For those who are curious what this game is, it's just basically using your RBY teams into a 3D game like Pokemon Stadium. But because I don't have an, an RBY, 
or like a transfer pack, I'm using rental Pokemon, which have terrible stats compared to my opponents. And they're always like the lowest levels they can be. That's the best way to put it. And uh, and these I'm playing through Poke Cup, which is uh, Master Ball, which is like a really hard cup to get through with Rental Pokemon. And basically, if I lose a battle, go back to the very beginning of the cup, and I I can get continues to not all right. In these cup tournaments as well, if I three zero my opponents like this one, I just three zeroed my opponent. I didn't lose any Pokemon in this battle, so I get a free continue. And these continues let you keep battling your trainers. If you lose to them anyway, like if I lost this guy, I had to use a continue to rebattle him. Or if not, I had to go back to the very beginning. But here we go. Zit. Two continues. So that's a very clutch continue, by the way. But this right here. Final battle. Let's get started. Final battle against this cup. We get two continues. So we have three tries to beat this guy. And let me just tell you, this team is really hard. Psychic. This is Gen 1, so it's Psychic, so of course, this is like the best you can, the best type you can use, but also like, look at this team. Slowbro, Jinx, Starmie, Hypno, Alakazam, Executor, like, this team, you just have to spam Thunderbolt. That's the only way to do it. Excuse my voice crack, by the way, I have a terrible habit, but yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm actually like, worried right now. This game came out like what, in 2000 or 1999? I can't remember. It was like near around that time. I wasn't alive back then. But I have this game. This is like, I, I'm actually recording some actual SD4, no cap, so. Yeah, okay. This team though, look at this stack team. You guys are talking about Alakazam for the first trainer? No, this is the real Alakazam to be worried about. So the plan is to go Zapdos. Articuno and Jolteon and just Thunderbolt spam and we have to Thunder Wave either Alakazam, Jinx, or Starmie first and then Thunderbolt the rest. Exeggutor comes out we have to go Articuno. I'm gonna reselect actually I don't know if I select the Zapdos first. I want to confirm I did. Here we go. Oh man if only you guys could hear the music right now it's like a trainer battle remix, but it sounds actually finale like. Alakazam! Urgh. Okay, I think this Alakazam uses Reflect turn one. I have no idea. I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Alright, cool. Perfect. I'm not using any physical moves in this battle. I'll tell you that right now. We Thunder Wave and just Thunderbolt this Alakazam over and over and over and pray for paralysis. Like, this battle, we have to pray to the hardest of our abilities. Critical hit! Alright, good start! Very good start! Psychic is not good. Critical is a very good start. Nothing, okay? We live another Psychic, unless, you know, it does another thing, but... Ugh. He's switching out, okay? To Hypno? I assume Hypno? Exeggutor, uh-oh, that's not good. April 1999, interesting. Yeah, I was, I was right or so, yeah. We have to go Exeggutor, we have to go Articuno, immediately. And I don't think this, does it Jolteon Pin Missile? Yeah, it does. It has Thunderbolt, Pin Missile, Sand Attack, and what was its last move? I can't remember. Yeah, Exeggutor, he has that. Like, Exeggutor is one of the best Gen 1 Pokemon, like, from Gen, in Gen 1 meta. Okay, nothing! That's perfect! Ice Beam now? We're faster, right? Yes, we're faster. Even Exeggutor doesn't outspeed Articuno. Critical hit! Awesome! Okay, does that kill? Yes! Okay! Okay! Oh my goodness! OMG! Who are you gonna sell next? Alakazam is a no-no if I were you. I would not go Zam. Yeah, Hypno. Sap part is slower than Hypno, so I think I have to actually just Ice Beam. Uh. 
We cannot let Jolteon get paralyzed, so... And this has Thunder Wave, so I'm just gonna... What do I do? 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 Okay. Let's calm down, Ludo. It's just... I think you just spam Ice Beam. That's all we do. Alexander being paralyzed is perfect, and getting the crit was even better there. Okay. We get a free hit. Please, freeze. If you freeze right here. Ugh. Okay. That sucks, but what can you do? Critical hit, okay, fine. Get the crit when it doesn't matter. That's perfectly fine. Now what do we do? Does Zapdos outspeed Hypno? I think I go Zapdos. None of my notes say to... Ugh. This is like the only music I like from Gen 2, actually. Actually, there's some good... No, no, no. I like Route 38 as well, but like, this is pretty good too. Gen 2 still has good music. It's just Gen 2 in general is just... Uh, but okay. What's the play? Ugh. I can't risk Jolteon getting paralyzed. I think I have to go Zapdos. Zapdos should outspeed. We need some luck. It doesn't say to paralyze. Ugh. It's not a loss yet. Or faster. Paralysis! Perfect! Oh my goodness! No way! No way! No way! No way! No my- Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Dude! No way! No way! Come on, come on, one more, one more, one more. Ugh! Okay, it's not out of the woods yet. Okay, perfect! We get a free off, we get a free, free hit off, we get a free hit off. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Alakazam's paralyzed. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, come on. We get a free hit on Alakazam. I don't want to say anything yet until I see Alakazam get 0 HP. Until I see that, I will I will not say anything else right now. Come on, please. Get paralyzed, get paralyzed. Wait, I think we actually win this. Dude, did I really just win that first try? I- Dude, how did I win that first try? How? How? I'm not even kidding. How did I do it first try? I think- That's it, that's it. Jolteon just beats it. That's it. Oh my goodness. That Thunderbolt para, instant para. Like... What was that? Actually cracked. Alright, just Thunderbolt. That's it. We did it. We actually did it. Wait, did we do that deathless? Was that deathless? Okay. Dude, I think I actually just did that deathless. I'm not even kidding. I don't remember losing a biker this time, or medium, or anybody else. I did it. Wow. I literally just beat that first try. I got stupid lucky, you all have to admit. If there was any special defense drops, a paralysis from that hypno was clutch. The crit from the executor was clutch. Bro, what was that? Like, I literally just did that first try. Oh my goodness. Oh! Dude, I don't know what to say now. How did I do that first try? <laughs> I'm trying to be hype, but like, I'm just genuinely shocked. I did that deathless, right? I don't think I lost any point. 
I was like, oh, let's get some continues. I don't think we didn't need them at all. And that's all the cups. That's it. We did it. We beat all the cups. That's the entire tournament mode done. Is that the end of stadium? Absolutely not. Because that was just the stadium cups. We still got gym leader castle to get through. Like all of it. Let's take a look even. What do we have to get through? We have to get through battle. We have to get through all eight gyms. As you can see, I'm going to go in. We have four turns to get through. And unlike, uh, unlike what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Unlike uh, tournament mode. You do not get continues for these. If you lose to any of these trainers, you go back to the beginning of this gym. So in a way, it's like they leave four. But honestly though, chat, I think I'm gonna save this for next stream because I wanna get through all stadium. I think I can do it, especially after that. Like, wow, I actually did it. I actually got through all four. Look at this, look at this. Not a single death after that one attempt. Probably cup I did get one death on the gambler, but after that, no deaths. I beat those final trainers first try. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Like, look at this. Look at this glory. This was back like two weeks ago. This was a week ago and Wednesday. And then this was like a few days ago and this was just a day. Wow. I, I don't think I deserved that victory, honestly. That felt like too easy, not really, because I got stupid lucky. The crit on the Exeggutor, like, Articuno popped off right there, and the paralysis Zapdos deserves MVP for that reason. Zapdos does deserve MVP, MVP for that reason. Oh my goodness, that what a great way to end, dude. I'm gonna end it now. I'm gonna. Do, I don't feel ready to do Jim the Castle for now. We'll could do that next stream. Start off with that. Oh my goodness, bro. What a victory. How did I do that? How did I do it with one try? I was like, we're going to take a few tries and then... Nope. Just do it for a try. Why not? You know? Critical hit on the Alakazam. And to not getting any special drops at all. Okay. That being said, though, let's go raid somebody. Who can we raid on this time of day? I just noticed Jonathan is streaming. Hmm. I'm not muted, by the way, am I? Uh, yeah, I'm not muted. Perfect. Who do I want to raid? Oh, PB's live. And so is Jake when Mario Kart Deluxe. I'm actually going to raid PB. I never raided him before. I'm going to go raid PB. PB's a friend of mine, uh, around here on Twitch. Okay, uh, this is annoying. Uh, I need to talk to you guys, like... I want to ask you guys, are you guys, like, getting anything about the fact that, like, recently, whenever I'm trying to, like, respond to somebody, it's like, the person's, uh, name just won't go away, like, when I'm trying to respond to someone, and then, like, above the message bar, their name is still up there. Uh, it's a kind of a specific problem, but, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna write PB. So be respectful, um, and just give them, uh, just, I don't know, just... We should make, like, a raid message, honestly. I've been wanting to do that recently, but I don't know, like, what to make it of, you know? I don't have a raid emote. I don't have anything really like that. But yeah. Thank you for, for stopping by. Next stream, we will be doing... Uh, Gym Leader Castle. That's my plan for next stream. And that's tomorrow, probably. For now, I'm gonna go get lunch for victory and just do whatever I want. Yeah, you're probably right, but uh, we'll see what happens later. Okay. Have a great rest of your day, chat. I'm popping out. I'm gonna go celebrate. That was, like, that was big. How did I get to a first try? I'm not even kidding. How? Oh, I didn't deserve it, honestly. I was down so bad in the sixth battle, and then we just happened to win the tournament. Okay. Later. Have a great rest of your day.